Hey, what's up guys, Newman Team here, and today in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use your phone as a webcam for your PC. So the way I'm gonna show you is gonna work both on Android and iOS, plus it also supports both Windows and Mac. So this can be really helpful if you have to enter an uh, online class or have to attend a Zoom meeting. This not only saves you from the cost of buying a new webcam, but also saves you from the cost of buying a new software because the way I'm going to show you is completely free, will not cost even a single penny. So with that being said, let's go ahead and do this. All right, so firstly, what you have to do is go to your phone and search for the application called Arian. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly or not, but yeah, I will leave link in the description down below for all the platforms so that you can find it easily. And then you need to install it. Similar is the case with iOS devices also. You just go to the App Store, search for the application and install it. So on your PC, you need to go to the website called irian.com. Here, you will see three operating systems that this software supports. We have Ubuntu, macOS, and Windows. I'm gonna download the software for Windows. As I'm using Windows, it will download a very small 6.5 megabyte file. It should just take five seconds to download. Then you need to give the administrator permissions, and after which you will see an agreement. You need to accept this and click on next. Then you need to select where you want to install this software. I'm gonna leave it default, then hit next, and then install. It should just take five seconds, depending on the speed of your computer. Okay, so now on our phone, we need to open the Arian application. And here, as you can see, it is waiting for the connection. So there are two ways of connecting your phone to the laptop. And number one is by using Wi-Fi. In this, you just need to connect both of both your laptop and your phone to the same Wi-Fi network, but you need to make sure that they are connected to the same Wi-Fi band also. If your phone is connected to the 5 gigahertz network and your laptop is connected to the 2.4 gigahertz uh, network, then it will just won't work. You need to make sure that both of you know, both your phone and the PC are connected to the same network band so if your phone is connected to the 2.4 then your laptop should be connected to the 2.4 as well once you have connected both the devices to the same wi-fi network you need to go back to the software that you installed on your pc right after opening the software it will immediately scan your device and connect to it the second way is by using usb debugging so there are a few steps involved so let's just get into it so in order to connect your phone using usb firstly you need to enable developer options. You can do that by going to the settings, then to the about phone, and by clicking build number seven times. After that, you need to just go back to system and you will see a new option called developer options. Here, you just need to scroll down until you see USB debugging. You just need to turn it on, which will be disabled by default. And then you just need to go back to the Erin software once again and connect your phone to the USB. So right after connecting, you will see this option. Here, you just need to tick this box that says always allow from this computer and click on allow over here. So right after you click allow, the connection will be established and you should be able to see the video from your phone on your PC screen. Okay, so now that we are connected, let's go and see how we can integrate this application into our meeting applications. So each and every meeting application out there should have an option to select the camera source. So as you can see here in the Zoom application, I have this camera arrow right here, which shows a number of sources. Here, you just need to select the Irwin webcam and your webcam will start working. Now that we are connected, let's talk about the features that we get by using this application. So once we are connected, we get three options here. One is to, for flash, the second option is to mirror the image and the third is the settings icon. Now the settings icon gives us access to various options. The first one we have the orientation that allows us to check, set the camera orientation as portrait or landscape. Then we have an option to choose which camera we want to use. We can either use back camera or the front camera. Then we have an option to turn on autofocus and then we have option to turn 
on screen dimming. At last, we have an option to upgrade to the pro version of the application. Yes, there is a pro version of this application available on the Play Store. So there is not much difference in the free version and the pro version of the application. But just in case if you are interested, here are all the features that you get after upgrading to the pro version. So the pro version of the application allows you to stream HD video in 16 by 9 aspect ratio instead of 4 by 3. It also includes watermark removal and VR feature. You can get all this for $4.50. So the VR feature of the Irian allows you to play VR PC games by using your phone and something as cheap as Google Cardboard. So this eliminates the need of buying expensive headsets like HTC Vive and Oculus Rift. So that's pretty much it guys. I hope it helps and thank you for watching. Talk to you guys in the next one.